let's let's take a new file let us change the stage color to black and we just need to save the file let us change the name as timer format hit save to save the file now we just need to take that one dynamic text field and the stage to display the timer count which we are going to show the timer count in time format let us adjust the font name and font color and we just need to embed the selected font select the options and click ok i just want to apply here glow filter let us change the dynamic text field instance name to timer txt to communicate with it in action script let us save the file let us click on the stage to highlight the properties click on the class and let us name the class as timer format and click ok we just need to save this action script file now let us save with the same name now we just need to define one timer object to increase the timer let's go back to the header in the class just we need to define that one timer object as instance name of that my timer object is my timer and the type of that object is timer and class name is timer and the delay must be the thousand seconds thousand milliseconds and it is supposed to be continued continuously and let us declare that one variable i which is going to help us to increase that number when timer is updating and we need to add one event listener to the timer let us define it in inside the public function my timer dot add event listener event is timer event let us define the function name as update time now we just need to define the function private function and the function name update time and event is timer event we just need to increase the variable value inside the timer function and then next we need couple of variables here to convert this total seconds into seconds in seconds and minutes now let us define that one variable as total seconds and i'm assigning that i to this total seconds and we want that one more variable to store that minutes minutes uh, data type must be that star equal to let us take let us take the total seconds by 60 which will help us to convert the seconds into minutes now we need one more variable which will help us to convert this total number of seconds into seconds which is supposed to be restarted after 59th second and let us define that one variable for the seconds as in seconds seconds equal to total seconds mod of 60 which will help us to convert this into seconds 0 to 59 and let us uh, try to display this minutes and seconds into that uh, dynamic text field timer txt dot text equal to minutes plus seconds Let us save the file and we just need to uh, test it now to get the updated preview. And before that, we just need to uh, start the timer. We just define the timer, but we, we were not started yet. Let us 
start the timer and then save let's go back to control menu to test it now we could see the timer is updating but we we see that minutes uh, number is one digit and second seconds number is also in one digit till nine then we just need to add zero to it till nine we just need to write this small condition there by checking the length of that variable value if string of number that length is less than two let us add zero to it same logic that we are supposed to continue with even seconds also let us repeat the same with seconds even if string of seconds that length is less than two let us add zero to it Now we just need to save the file. Again, go back to that control menu to test it. We will get the updated display. Now we could see that four digits, two in minutes and two in seconds. But it is not starting by default. It is starting one, one second delay. Starting with one second delay. So let us start the display immediately to do that. We just need to place the timer txt.txt equal to 0000 inside the default function which is public function. Let us add one statement timer.txt equal to 0000 and test it now. We could see that time from the beginning and we'll be able to see that continuous time update and this will show us how long user is in this preview this will keep updating the timer and seconds will get restarted after 59th second and then minutes will update it vice versa let us wait for some time just to see that uh, minutes update we need to wait for another 10 10 to 15 seconds Slowly it is updating that seconds and once this seconds are 59, it will update the minutes. This is how that we can format the total number of seconds from timer into time format, minutes and seconds. Hope you see that minutes update there. Thank you for watching and have a great day.